hello all you wonderful people out there in YouTube land. Welcome to the May 2023 Tesla update video. We are looking at Albert Doty's modules. You can see he's got those bridge uh, trusses repaired now. Got both bridges in place. Some uh, soon to be rock formations. A little trackside bungalow there as well as road close signs on either end of the uh, river. The rest of the modules, as you noticed, the road is here along the edge. Well, on Alberts, it's going to cross the tracks down there by the drive-in theater and kind of cut back toward the backside. Got a additional little shop building workshop building right back here some uh, power lines and whatnot got a little uh, hobo mansion back there and the movie theater is uh, as you can see the drive-in theater here it's a lot more put together now he still hadn't found his ticket booth yet though he's coming. but he's got the fence mocked up that's May or may not be the final position of the fence. It'll be somewhere along in that, that, that arrangement. And of course, Emperor of the North. Right here is going to be where the railroad crossing uh, for the highway will be. And uh, of course, you got a little playground area there for the kiddos. That way they're not pestering the hell out of mom and dad while they're trying to watch a movie. But coming along nicely. It's looking real good. And uh, we will pop over and see what them other uh, knuckleheads got going on. Albert has pledged on the life of his firstborn that this animated falling tree will go somewhere on the module. So look forward to that later on down the road. Hi, my name is James Clark. I'm with the Texas Louisiana Model Railroad Club in Orange, Texas. Um, what you see here is part of our module system, the three foot by four foot, five and seven inch center lines from the edge for the main line track. Uh, this is mine. I worked in a refinery for 40 years, so I'm trying to build a refinery. I got three load rack tracks. This track here is going to be a propane loading track when I get it all finished. I have my refinery units here. I'm thinking about putting some type of a propane system with some tanks and pumps and stuff in this corner right here. I haven't figured that out yet. Got my, my tank farm with my berm. I used uh, styro, styrofoam like, like you have right there. Formed it, got it glued down. I'll have some, some uh, ladders to go over the, the berms. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to put right here yet. Maybe, I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. Over here, it's going to be Allied Rail Builders. It's going to be Gary's module. Um, you can see it's just like a, he's in the process of working it, trying to get it straight. Up against the wall over there, that's Justin uh, Partain's module. It's going to be a uh, pipeline with a bunch of... Uh, cranes and stuff that's going to be sitting right next to my refinery when we get it all set up and uh, so that's going to be that now over here this is Mike Leger's Mike Leger's models what you see here was on the Lake Charles Lake Area Model Railroader Club in Lake Charles Children's Museum second floor we were there for 15 years to Hurricane Laura, took out the roof, and we had to get out. And we were able to salvage this um, sawmill. Mike Leggy built this sawmill. What you see right here, this main portion building right here, that was over 1,100 pieces of single wood that he had to cut, glue, and paint, and put all the windows in. 
and it took him a couple of years to do all this. But during the process of Hurricane Laura, some of the stuff got damaged, so we had to kind of redo some of it. He's redid the roofs. Uh, some of the stuff warped. We had to straighten all that out, but he's done a really good job of uh, getting it back together. Powerhouse. This is the powerhouse. Uh, what he's going to do here, he's going to have probably some water in here. We haven't figured out how we're going to do it yet. But we're going to have water. And His brother Philip built this, this dam that was on our other layout and we incorporated it into this in memory of Philip, his brother, who passed away uh, two years ago. Uh, over here is a continuation of the sawmill modules. This will be your log dump unloader. Right there, we'll have like a little, uh, oh, what do you call it? Uh, logging camp? Logging, no, it's gonna be a, a company camp. That's for like the employees of the sawmill that have a store and some, some little buildings, some shotgun buildings to sleep in. And like I said, he's gonna try to have water and all this, but it's a, it's a work in progress. So we're still working on it. Uh, if you come back over here, I'll show you something on mine that we're, we're experimenting with. This, mine is the guinea pig. If you can see right here, we have some PC cross ties that we did on this section right here. From here, from here to here, we got the PC cross ties in. The, the rail is soldered to the cross ties. And we took a Dremel tool, with a very fine blade, a little diamond blade Dremel tool. And if you look real close, you can see some gaps cut right there. We did this try to eliminate the problem of taking, taking it apart and putting drop-ins drop in and putting it all back together. We're hoping this will, will save us a lot of time. So that's what we're working on now on this one here. These are just mocked up here on the yard module and stuff in the other room we're going we're going pretty good we got a lot of it in soldered and everything we'll wait and see how it works all right thank you hopefully uh y'all stay oh almost forgotten the aforementioned gary this is going to end up being a little cave with some campers or hobos or something or other. A little campfire off in there if he actually gets done what he wants to. So uh, this is his first attempt at uh, modeling uh, landforms with foam board. Pretty good for a first attempt. Better than mine anyway. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the update on the Texla Model Railroad modular layout. Today we've been working on putting in our ties that will, our copper ties that will hold the layout together when we put it, put the modules side by side. We don't have to have drop-ins anymore because of the way we've come up with to do it. We've done, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, they've done about nine of these drop-ins. They're tedious. They take a little bit of time. I uh, don't know whether we have a... Here's the ties. Here's what the ties look like before they're pulled from the, from the holder. And then when they're pulled, they look like this. We've made some more progress. We have one end of the of the uh, yard uh, getting fairly well close to being ready to start trying to finalize everything. Uh, we're down. We made some decisions tonight. We're going to take our intermodal yard, change it from a four-track yard to a three-track yard, uh, just to give us a little more room. Uh, we're also starting to prepare stuff to take uh, the the yard trackage for the diesel locomotives to be serviced into the service area. There has not been anything done on the steam tonight. Uh, 
uh, the steam uh, modules are pretty good. They're pretty far along. Uh, we still have some things to do on them also, but we're getting closer. We're getting closer to being able to put this all thing all together and start running some trains around it, make sure everything runs, make sure we switch, make sure we can do all of the things that we want to do with it. So, that's our update for tonight. Good enough?